Hey guys, this is Abhishek from GadgetChoose.com and today we are going to do a quick hands-on of the HP Slate 7 Voice Tab Ultra. But this device has not been announced, I guess, because I was not able to find the specifications of the same. As we can see uh, on the about screen on this particular device, we see the name of this device which is mentioned as HP Slate 7 Voice Tab Ultra. We have seen the HP Slate 7 Voice Tab earlier. So again, I'm not going to do a review of this device. This is just an information for this device or a preview, you can say. So talking about the hardware specification, we can see some of the hardware specification which is being mentioned over here on this device. Which includes that it has a quad core 1.6 gigahertz processor, 2 GB of RAM is there on this device, 16 GB of inbuilt storage is there, out of which around 10.69 GB is going to be available to the user. You also have resolution of 1 to, uh, 1200 into 1920, and which seems to be high definition resolution or near to that. You have Android 4.2.2 running on this device. Emotion UI 2.0 is there on this device. However, the Emotion UI is actually from Huawei, but somehow we have this UI running on this device. Uh, when it comes to other things, uh, we do have some other information like the build number and the kernel version. So when we talk about this device and the specific unit which we have with us, this is not the final model. This is actually a prototype, but in terms of the look and feel, it will remain like this. It will not change. Uh, and when we take a look over the front, at the top, we have the metallic earpiece. That means it is not only going to be a tablet, but it will be a phone functionality as well. That means you can do voice calls from this one. When it comes to front, the front looks like it is a VG camera and we will show you the view of that as well. At the bottom, we have the touch capacity buttons which are there within the body of the tablet. And this is a tablet, not only a tablet because it has voice calling as well. At the back side, it looks good. We do have some plastic which is being there on this device. I'm not going to remove it because again, the look and feel is going to be like this. Uh, it will not change, but this is a prototype unit, so it, not, it won't help much. Uh, it does give you these buttons over there on the side, which includes the volume rocker and you have a power and sleep key as well. Over here, you have a SIM card slot over here and you have a micro HD memory card slot as well to expand the storage of this device. So at the back, we can see that we have a camera. Uh, this rear camera is an autofocus camera. It does have LED flash as well. So this is how it looks like. Looks pretty good in terms of the overall build and the finishing of the material is also good. However, when we talk about the backside, it is actually not metal. This is plastic and this part is again plastic. Again, I'm not too sure about this part. This could be metal as well, but this is again plastic and this is also plastic. This could be metal. Uh, I'm not too sure. We will confirm that later. And when we take a look over the thickness of this tab tablet, this is a pretty thin tab tablet, I would say. You do have chrome being used on the edges, which does make this look pretty good and uh, look quite premium, I would say. The bezel is also kind of thin as compared to the other tablets which we have and it is a 7 inch display as you can see and it looks like a very colorful display the color production seems to be really nice the wing angles of the display are also looking good so you can see the display on this device from almost any angle without any issue the wing angles are wide enough let's take a look over the ui so again as we expected this is running the emotion ui and when we take a look over the settings we can show you the storage scenario as well so on the storage front around 11.08 gb and then right now 10.69 gb is available because there are some application installed you do have an sd card slot which we already showed you which is over there and when we talk about the application which can be installed on sd card or not uh, seems like it does not support that so you cannot install applications on this card you do have support for portable wi-fi hotspot and tethering as well which is good thing and when we talk about location access you do have support for gps navigation as well on this device so that means you can use this device for gps navigation as well without any issues you do have suspend button which you can enable in case you would like to have a touch capacity button on the screen itself you have motion control and some gesture supported as well you also have glove mode supported so this is going to be a decent tablet i would say and an upgrade to the voice tab 7 the hp slate 7 voice tab uh, it will be an upgrade this one will be an upgrade to that one and it might replace the one which is already available in the market as far as apps is concerned when it comes to ram ram on this device is 2 gb and let me just show you the current scenario so as of now around 
uh, 503 MB of RAM is free only. However, around 1.3 GB of RAM is being used, which is again uh, the amount of RAM free on this device is not too high. But the device is responsive. I do not face any lag as of, as of now. You do have a battery saving application over there. Not a battery saving, but again a regular battery uh, option over there, which shows you which application are using battery and how much they are using battery. So this is all we have as far as the settings are concerned. Let's take a look over the messaging application and the phone dialer. So first of all, I will show you the phone dialer. So here we have the phone dialer, and again the phone dialer is not stock Android. It is a custom phone dialer, and when it comes to video call. you do not have that option so you cannot make a video call from this device uh, by default you can again do it with third party applications this is how the messaging application look like which is looking like a stock android messaging application and when it comes to swipe to type you do have that supported so you can swipe to type on this device without any issues which is a good thing you can always type in the portrait or in the landscape mode as well in case you want to in case you have any problem but again the tablet is pretty big one thing i would like to say is that the thin bezels on this device again it, the bezels are not very thin but comparing with the existing white uh, hp slate voice HP Slate 7 Voice Tab. Uh, this one is better in terms of the build, in terms of the material which has been used. It is also having a 1.6 gigahertz quad-core processor. It looks like it could be, uh, it could be Snapdragon. It could be anything else as well. We will confirm that once this device comes to India and once we have more details on it. When we take a look over the camera UI, let me just take a photo of my iPhone and I will show you the. performance of this device as far as camera is concerned again this is a prototype device so don't expect this thing to be final it might be uh, it might not be very good and let me just take the photo right now so let me just hide this and again i'm taking this photo in a room with some artificial light so i've just taken the photo and i can show you the same so this is how the photo looks like the photo is not very clear let me just take this photo again maybe i was not holding the tablet stable so again i have taken this photo and let me just show you this one so this one is looking out to be good enough i would say in terms of details and in terms of color reduction it is decent as well there is no problem so the camera has performed pretty good it looks like that this is a uh, minimum i i guess 8 megapixel camera should be there let me just check the camera resolution so when it comes to video you can record high definition video and hdr video can also be recorded you have stabilization as well in the video front and when we talk about the settings let me just check the camera settings as of now so resolution okay it is a 13 megapixel camera which we have at the back side which we can confirm now and when it comes to the front camera uh, i will show you that as well so let me just show you the front camera as of now so this is how the front camera look like and again the front camera is decent uh, again it looks like it is a 2 megapixel fixed focus camera which can be used for video chat so you can take photos as well by just tapping on the screen as i just did so this is again going to be easy to use this device uh, as far as front camera is concerned we do have setting for the front camera as well and when we talk about the camera on the front the front camera is a 5 megapixel camera which is good enough as well so in all this is a decent uh, tablet which might replace the HP Slate 7 Voice Tab Ultra and this will be a pretty good choice i would say once it comes to indian market and i am not sure about the exact price let's see what is the exact price of this device we will confirm that once we get this device in india i'm not sure when it will come it should come within the next two months this is something which i expect and that's all from us i would like to give a thumbs up to this device to let me know if you have any specific question for this device i would love to help you you can like this video if this video help you by clicking the like button below you can subscribe to our youtube